Okay. Um, the probably the most time-consuming thing here is part C. But for part A, let's look. This this is a can be generally used to model the growth of a population with a carrying capacity, with a limit on how big it can get. Okay, so that limit of how big it can get is 4,000. So it just caps out at 4,000. Um, and see, there is some function p of t, and this is the derivative with respect to time, right? So for what, population will the popula for what populations p will the population be growing, meaning how big can p be and still have the uh, population grow? When will the population grow? It's getting bigger, right? The population's going up, 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 up like this. Has a positive slope, positive derivative. So what values of p will make this positive? Uh, well, this part will always be positive, okay? Because that is going to be uh, a population, right? A positive number of things. k is going to be a positive, um, a positive constant. Um, so it comes down to, well, this whole thing here, what will make this negative? If this is larger than 1, so if uh, this is from 0 to 4,000, we are less than 1, right? So 0 to 4,000, that's, the, that's the, the good place right there. Once it gets beyond 4,000, then this becomes bigger than 1. Um, and this becomes negative, and so we would see the population decline, OK? Um, solving this differential equation, I have another video for that. Let's come over here. Uh, I guess we should go to the next page. And here's that solution that we find in the other video. Um, so use the given, infor given information. That would be that uh, basically p of 0 is 40, right? They start with 40 elk. And over here, after 5 years, so p of 5 is 104. So we'll use this one first. 0 is always nice, OK, because that's t. We're going to plug that in for t. And 0 in the exponent is a very nice thing. So p equals 4,000 over uh, b times e to the 0. Right? Let's just cut to the chase there. This is 0. So this is just b times 1. This is 0. This is 1. b times 1 is b. So, uh, oh, and p the population, we should have said, was uh, 40 at that time. OK, so I guess we'll just put an arrow here. 40 equals 4,000 over b plus 1. Um, 40 b plus 40 equals 4,000. If I multiply both sides by the denominator and distribute, uh, divide by 40, we get 4, or sorry, minus 40. Um, let's see, make sure I'm doing this right here. Um, up, 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 up. Uh, that would have been a whole lot easier not to distribute. Let's go back. B plus 1 times 40 equals 4,000. Divide by 40, uh, and we get 100. b plus 1 equals 100. So b equals 99. So you can fill that in. Nice big 99 over the b. That's what it is. So now that we know that, we can use this guy here. Let's do that in green. Um, so at time five, five years, there'll be 104 elk. So 104 is equal to 4,000 over now the 99 that we know, e to the negative k times five plus one. So um, what should we do? Let's uh, distribute, uh, or multiply both sides with the denominator and divide by 104. So we'll get 99e to the negative 5k plus 1 equals 4,000 over 104. Then we'll subtract 1. We get 99e to the negative 5k equals uh, 4,000 over 104.
4 minus 1, and we'll divide by 99, so we get e to the negative 5k equals um, 4,000 over 104 minus 1 divided by 99. Let's get a, an actual approximation for that. Make it a little easier. So 4,000 divided by 104 divided by 104. Um, and we'll subtract 1. We'll divide that by 99. I'll say 0 0.378. 0 0.378. That'll be all right. Um, so, uh, write it over here, I guess. E to the negative 5k equals 0.378. Take the natural log of both sides, negative 5k equals the natural log of 0.378. Divide by negative 5k is going to be, say, the natural log of this answer here, divided by negative 5, 0.194. Okay. So that's what k is. So it's negative, negative 0.194. Right. Um, there it is. There is the particular solution right there. If I want to know how big the population is, I can use this equation here, which is what we want to do down here. Um, after 15 years, we're just going to plug 15 into that equation there. Uh, let's see being able to see that thing. Population equals 4,000 over 99 times e to the negative 0.194 times 15 years plus 1. All right. And we calculated the rescue here, 4,000 divided by this quantity, 99 times e to the negative 0.194. 9, 4, times 15 power, and we're going to add 1 to that, that's our denominator, 625.67 elk. Um, yeah, so, about 626 elk, uh, because you can't get 0.67 of an elk. We ran up to 626. Um, Given difference of equation 4,000 carrying capacity. So if we replaced, um, oh, let's go all the way back, all the way back. The differential equation here. Um, replace this 4,000 with just a big old L. Okay, and uh, the only difference is that instead of 4,000, we'll have written L, right? So then let's take a look at that solution we had. The solution in general for us was p equals 4,000 over b times e to the negative kt plus 1. If, if 4,000 were just replaced with l, then in general, anything that looks like this, dp dt equals kp times 1 minus p over l, will have a solution, a general solution of p equals, uh, what was it, l over b e to the negative k t plus one. And that's so. If you're ever given a um, differential equation that looks like this, uh, you can bet it has a logistic curve. It's a the solution to this is a family of logistic curves. They look like this. They grow really fast at first, and then they they taper off. Okay. Um, so the solution to the differential equation, given a problem, can be generalized if we... Da, 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 da. Okay, I answered the wrong thing at the wrong time. Uh, so let's just... I don't know why. What's it not? Oh, I already locked this down. This, all of this is supposed to be down here. I wasn't reading very slowly. Um, in the given differential equation, this with 4,000 in it, um, 4,000 is the, the carrying capacity, the largest population possible. In part C, we found um, 
this solution here, okay, um, solution to the differential equation according to, or I guess part C was the general one, where this was B and this was negative K, according to the solution, will the population ever reach the carrying capacity and start to decline? Because uh, that's what this differential equation implies. Once your population goes beyond L, this will have a negative uh, slope and start to decline. So, you know, if, if we let this population grow for a thousand years, will it, like, just kind of get bigger than 4,000, come back down, smaller than 4,000, come back up? Uh, let's see. Well, if we look at this, uh, this guy right here, T is the amount of time, right? T is the amount of time. So if we let that go to a thousand million, billion, trillion, whatever, like just, to, just so many years, will this ever get to 4,000? Right? or above 4,000. Uh, in order for that to happen, well, this is 4,000 here. Right? Or maybe we can look up here. This is 4,000. Uh, if this goes on for eternity, uh, it won't matter because what we have here is e to the negative infinity. Okay, e to the negative infinity. What's that? That's 1 over e to the infinity. Okay, and that's what we multiply by 99 and add 1. Well, what's this? 1 over e to the infinity. It's very, very, very small. And 99 times some really, really, really small number will be really, really, really small. And, uh, shouldn't have this equal sign here anymore. Um, so this will become 4,000 over 1, right? And it's, it's approaching 4,000 over 1. It's only getting close, but it doesn't ever get there, right? The, the best we could do is one point really, really tiny. One point, a billion zeros, and then a 1. But still, that's only just less, just barely less than 4,000. So no, because the limit, as t goes to infinity, goes to infinity of p of t is equal to 4,000. And it'll never get beyond that. It'll never even get there, uh, according to the model. Um, and that's it. Thanks for watching.